Hey guys, and welcome to the video, and I hope that you are feeling awesome. I'm on my way home now, Yvonne's just started work, and I've got to confess, it's absolutely horrible for weather it is. Absolutely dismal day, honestly, and it's really, really hard, guys, to make plans when it's raining and your hobby is outside and you don't want to get all your stuff wet do you <laughs> i forgot to mention something in last week's vlog me and yvonne were off to do our weekly shop and uh as we were driving down the road i noticed something in somebody's garden and i thought are they getting rid of that do you know what the best thing is to do is pull over get out of the car and knock on that person's door and ask them if they still want this item this might not look a lot here guys but this is just the frame of it right you also have six drawers there so i was saying to yvonne i was saying like how cool would it to be have that in the garage where when we get the garage all nicely done up with shelving unit and everything organized we could do with having those drawers i can't wait for you guys to see this uh, garage once it's done oh hello baby i thought you were asleep oh hello girlie hello teeny toots you just chilling in there? Well, that's two cats. Let's see if uh, Technic's in the house. There he is. Hello, boy. Oh, hello, Techitus. And it's really, really obvious that it's crap day for weather because all three of them will not be in by the time I get in. Well, guys, I've just got myself changed and I looked at my phone and I had a missed WhatsApp message from Yvonne. So here it is now. Look at that. How cheeky is she asking me to do her bakery story while she's at work and I'm doing my stuff? I, l I don't mind helping her out doing stuff like that, honestly, guys. Okay, it's that time to go pick up Yvonne now from work. Wow, I tell you, it's now, it, it was absolutely so busy on the road coming down. But anyways, as promised in last week's vlog, I'll show you a bit of progress each week of the uh, KFC being built over here. Ah, they've made progress since last time, guys. We've got some, uh, what looks to be some, like, I don't know what you call it. They, they, they saw a pile drill down into the ground. Don't know the technical word, guys, but if you know it, just let me know in the comments below. And I was telling Yvonne about this uh, area the other day, and she was like really sort of shocked by, you know, how big it's going to be. And she was like, oh my God, it's going to be massive. And it's just amazing when you just got grass covering area, you don't actually see the potential size. But anyways, I do have to get my skates on, guys, because uh, it is that time to go and meet up with Yvonne. And we do have a little bit of shopping to do today. Look who we have found. Hello. How you doing? I'm doing good. Are you glad to be going home now? Yes. Come on you, let's get you out of here. You've had a good shift, haven't you? Indeed, yes. Awesome. Guys, that cloud there is so dark. Wow. Just look at that picture though. In fact, I'm going to take a picture of this right now. I am in town now waiting for Yvonne to be finished up going in the shop and I said, you know what, I'm just going to go and see the brook. And it's hard to believe that we're just looking at that beautiful scenery, you're right in the middle of town. I can't wait to do a little bit of a project in this area. What I like to do, maybe, I don't know how I'm going to do this. But get into the brook here and sort of record the water going down somehow. Anyways, I'm going to go and meet up with Yvonne and then we're going to go off and get the rest of the stuff done that we need to do in town. Well, guys, I've got a bit of a challenge here for Yvonne. I mentioned in last week's vlog that we went to a place called Aldi's, right? And we picked up a packet of these uh, snack rights. Whereas we've got a normal packet here of Walker's cheese and onion. So what I've decided to do, guys, is open up each of these packets of crisps and then hand them to Yvonne to see if she can tell which one is the snack right and which one is the Walkers. I've got myself a scarf here, right? So Yvonne, you're gonna have to put that onto your eyes. You might have to take your glasses off for this. Yeah, I think I might. Cover up your eyes. For this taste, for this taste test. test. Okay, I've got them shopping some crisps around here. Try, I'll give you a hand. Yeah. I'll go and set, grab yourself. I've got a large one. Yeah. Can I, am I ready? Yeah, put it in your mouth. Okay. Right, I want you to eat 
both of the crisps and you tell me which one's which, okay? Are you ready to taste the other one? Bear with me. Sorry guys, you're going to have to see her eating here. <laughs> okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, so here's the next one. If I just hand it to you, I have washed my hands guys, honestly. Right, so here it is, there you go. Okay. So when she's finished that one, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask her a question or a couple of questions on these crisps. Okay, so the first crisp you had, was that nice? Did it taste good? Yeah. And the second crisp, did, had, was that any better or any worse than the first? Stronger. It was a stronger taste of cheese and onion. Stronger taste? Yeah. So out of the both of them, which one do you reckon was the war crisp? The first or the second? Second. Um, there's nothing wrong with the first one at all. Their taste is it's a more subtler crisp. Yeah. Subtler taste. So, oh God. hello! <laughs> I can't say. The walk is much stronger. Much stronger? Much stronger, yeah. Okay. Obviously, you just go in on your sense of taste. Would you be interested of maybe doing a bit of a switcheroo and get rid of those so you don't want those anymore and you'll stick with this variety? I would, because yeah. sometimes it's too strong. The taste is too strong, you know. You have a bag of crisps, you want to taste it, you want to taste the flavour, but sometimes it's like... Don't want to be smothered. You're overloaded yeah. with, you know, taste. There you have it, Yvonne, those are crisps. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to carry on with our evening and uh, pretty much chill now. I'm glad that we did do that test and uh, it definitely shows that Yvonne those are crisps. <laughs> Wow, guys, I have had one of those days where you um, kind of zone out a lot, to be honest. However, I am now rushing it to the car because I'm meeting up with Yvonne because me and Yvonne has to go shopping for some fence panels because if you recall in a few vlogs ago, I showed you that I did a temporary repair. Um, unfortunately, with all the winds that we've had recently, that fence panel is literally just gone. Are you having a crafty fag in there? Yeah, but I'm also buying... Ah, uh, bakery story, yeah. I've been asked by my work colleagues to make two videos to help people with the, um, basically, the equipment in work. And i got to admit, I'm quite looking forward to editing those videos. The weather today has been absolutely beautiful. It makes you think that all those people out there that can't work or not work in and stuff like that, it makes you think how many of those are actually enjoying the time in the sun today. Mm. Well, Jealous, what about you? Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Anyway. Now, seriously, as soon as we got back home from work, I was like, right, Yvonne, I'm gonna set up the camera in the back garden. So it's been set up for quite a while now. However, guys, me and Yvonne's ordered the fence panels and we can't wait to get all of this side here replaced within the next, say, week or so. And lucky enough, the next door neighbor has said they'd give us a hand. So uh, that for me is absolutely awesome, honestly it is. Uh, gotta be honest, it's uh, quite funny when you look into things like, you know, serious things of life, how much you have to pay for things and with all the cost of things rising and it's just like one of those things that we as a nation I suppose or even worldwide are going to be struggling for many many years and it's due to not only the fact I suppose that with all of the um, Covid situation where people had to be off sick and stuff like that and you know the all of these employers and everything has had to put their hands in their pockets to help out you know keep their businesses alive so you know there's been a lot of a lot of losses of money you know throughout the last say two maybe three years now and obviously with the current situation in russia it doesn't help the situation either and to be truthfully honest i'm kind of sick of all this negative crap you know it was covid and then you know we're just getting rid of that and then all of a sudden something else comes along and it's just so frustrating because it's all sort of in a weird way man-made and it's just really really gets to uh, my positive vibes and I just wish that everyone would get on with everyone and you know and be absolutely uh, positive Wow guys it is absolutely freezing this morning it's like currently one and a half degrees Celsius but anyways, I'm hoping I'm going to get a nice sunrise from this location. And if I do, that would be absolutely awesome. I've got to say something. I am so pleased and privileged in a sense that um, yesterday I mentioned that I was doing a video for the colleagues in work. And uh, 
I gotta confess, the response I've got from making that video has been absolutely amazing. My supervisor, my manager was like, well done John, absolutely amazing. And that really got me thinking guys, I wonder how many other videos I can make to help other people out, eh? But it's not hard to, uh, I, I suppose, pass on your experience to somebody else so they can learn as well, you know? I have got a pretty much a good packed day of things to do. First thing I gotta do is I gotta be at work, then when I finish work I'm gonna go home and I've got quite a bit of editing to do and I'm looking forward to hopefully releasing another adventure video within say the next week but anyways I'm gonna get myself indoors now because it is so cold outside Wow guys the weather has been absolutely beautiful today and to be truthfully honest I wish that I was finished and I was going home but I have picked up some extra overtime to help out on grocery. I spoke to the manager of grocery and she has told me I'm gonna be on Easter. So that should be different for me because I've never ever put Easter eggs out or anything before since working at Tesco's. Funny enough, this year, I have been working for Tesco's for five years at the end of this month. To be truthfully honest, I am still so shocked that I've actually got a job. I honestly didn't think i will still be here five years on, honestly guys. But anyways, as I said, I've got another shift to do so I'm about to go in now and clock in and get that done. I'm going to make the tracks now and get on with my next shift. Ah, well the weather is not too bad right now guys. I have got some awesome news to tell you. My video that I did to help out my colleagues, right, no word of a lie, management have seen it and they were like, we like it, it's really, really good, John. And they have said to me that they want me to do more videos. For me personally, that is a major, major boost of confidence, honestly, guys. But anyways, I'm making my way now home. ridiculous I'm being honest guys there is a lot of times in Rouge where I literally question people's you know brain cells there is people that leave you know parked on the corner like you've just seen there is people that don't even use indicators and then there's people I've just been following literally doing below the speed limit and I'm like for God's sake move you know but anyways I'm practically home now and then I'm gonna get in and uh, look at that time lapse that I said about the uh, time lapse I did yesterday, guys, didn't turn out to be a good video, honestly. Oh, hello. Who's a cute little girly? What you do is up there. What you do is up there. <laughs> so cute. Oh. So I'm gonna head on in now and get some stuff done. And I gotta be honest, I am loving this bit of sun going on here. And it's got me thinking, I wonder if I could do a bit of a, maybe, a sunset video to add to the sunrise this morning. Wow guys, it's absolutely a beautiful day for weather. But unfortunately, I've had to call in sick today. Last night, honestly, I swear to God, I was coughing, I was sneezing, I couldn't sleep, my back hurts right now, my chest feels so tight. So I got up this morning, before I even had my first fag, coffee, or any drink, I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna do myself a COVID test, and it's come back negative. And I'm like, okay, so I don't have COVID, but why do I feel like utter crap? I am so tired. My body feels like literally shaking inside, and it's just a horrible feeling. And the worst thing is, guys, is I hate calling in work and saying, sorry, I can't come in today, because I feel like I let a team down i'm such a team player myself i you know i try my best whenever i'm feeling crap to go to work but anyways yvonne's got herself off to work so i've had a, i said a quick bye to her just then and uh, i'm hoping she's gonna have a good day and uh, i hope i really do hope and pray that by the time she gets home i'll feel a lot better than i do now well guys I've got a bit of a confession to make. I got back in the house yesterday after saying goodbye to Yvonne. And I sat here and I pretty much got myself all set up, got the TV going, 
put uh, Minecraft on because I thought I'd see if I could play some of that. And next thing I know is I'm getting woken up by Yvonne messaging me telling me she's on a break. Oh my God, I've just lost all that time. So I had a uh, bite to eat. I spoke to Yvonne for a little bit. And then um, I thought, right, okay, then I best, you know, get um, stuff done pretty much and try and get myself a bit more uh, awake. Got woke up again by Yvonne because she came home and she's uh, she came into here and she was like, well, John, John, John. And I woke up and I was like, what? And she was, you were asleep. And I was like, oh, my God, so that's twice yesterday I fell asleep. But I feel... A little bit better to be honest within myself than I did yesterday. I don't, I got less of the shakes inside my body, and uh, I feel a bit more um, coherent. Let's just say that. <laughs> so um, yeah. Wow, what a day it was yesterday. But anyway, guys, I'm just waiting for Yvonne now because we're about to go off and do our weekly shop. Wow, guys, KFC is definitely coming on. And Yvonne, you have not seen any of this stuff up to now, Not have you? yet, no. No. So, uh, guys, we have got a crate now here. We were driving down the road, and I said to Yvonne, I said, what is what that is thing that in the sky? sky? Wow, guys, look at this. Last time we've seen this area, they just had these bits here. But look at all of this. Look at all this extra material as well. Absolutely fantastic. And the fascinating bit about all of this is, right, as I work in the petrol station just over there, guys, I can see this area being built. So what I've been noticing, guys, is the um, lorries coming in, getting filled up with all the rubble and everything from the land. And also the amount of things that have been getting put on the land to obviously the materials they need to use, the equipment. And for me personally, it's just nice to see a progression of something being built. But I was saying to you the other day, wasn't I? I was yes. saying that how different the land looks now very much so yes it's weird when you look at it and well I've seen this area for like many many months but as I said I look at that area from work right and it's just been grass right and I'm looking at it now it's just like it's hard to visualize that bit of land looking so much more bigger once it's been dug up it's just crazy but one thing I'm questioning about is because they've had to dig down in the land Will they leave this area like looking like this? You've got the grass obviously still at its original height here, but then you come over this area here and it dips down. And that's definitely got me thinking, are they going to leave it like this or are they going to make it look fancy? However, guys, I mean, Yvonne's going to go off and do our uh, weekly shop, as I mentioned earlier. Got to be honest, there's quite a few areas we do need to go. But unfortunately, this is where we're going to have to love and leave you for this weekly vlog. So we both want to say a huge thank you for coming by because it means the world to both of us. And always do your best to stay positive and screw those negatives. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.